Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you another Louis Vuitton purchase that I just made. And no, these will not be happening weekly anymore. Um, I just recently got into Louis Vuitton and so I'm obsessed right now. So my parents came yesterday and so did my sister. So we went shopping and I purchased the Neverfull that I've been waiting for forever. So I will unbox that with you guys and share it with you, give you my first impressions, why I bought that one and um, yeah, I'll just show you what I got. Um, so I'm so excited. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Paige. Please, I would love it if you would subscribe and come back to see me. And also like this video if you like this kind of video so I know to keep making them or not. So let's just get started. So yesterday, as I said, my family came to Eden Prairie and they are from South Dakota. So they don't have a Louis Vuitton, so so excited for this purchase right here. I've been wanting this forever and been doing a ton, a ton of research on this item, this specific item that I got. Um, first off, this bag is huge, so I'm ready to get this out of here. But anyway, so um, they came and we went to the Louis Vuitton and Edina at the Galleria. So, so excited. And please, disclaimer right here, please. <laughs> disregard this look right here it's sunday and i am about to run a ton of errands i have dirty hair i don't feel like washing it so put a hat on and i'm so excited to use this purse so i have to film it right now so that i can use it today so sorry about this look but anyway let's get right into the unboxing so you pull it out of the bag and you have a big louis vuitton orange box my receipt is right here, so I need to save that. And then they have the beautiful bow, which is covering up the Louis Vuitton right now, which I do not like. All right, so let's just take this bow off here. Seriously, so, so excited for this purse. I was talking to Mitch the other day and I have literally wanted a Louis Vuitton since back in my limited two days. Um, back when I was shopping in limited two, they had the little like speedy 25s. Well, technically not the speedy 25s, but the same size as the speedy 25. And they had the white and the black with the colored LV, the fake ones. Um, they didn't have the LV on it, but they just had like the diamonds and all the other kind of stuff. And I got the white one and I was like so excited for it and I just couldn't wait for the day where I could actually get a Louis Vuitton and here I am. Ah, so excited. Okay, anyway, so here is the box. Big and it's got the magnetic closure here. So you open it up. Oh, and there is the dust bag. Um, so I will take it out of the dust bag. Oh my gosh, I am so excited right now. I got this yesterday and Mitch has been waiting to see it and I have been waiting to see it. Here it is. <laughs> All right, open up the dust bag. Here is the beauty I got. <laughs> So, so excited. So I got the Neverfull MM, which is the medium size. And um, I decided on this type. I did try the PM and the GM just to see what they look like with um, my body frame. I am a 5'1", so I'm really short. So I went with the MM because it just looked really good with um, my height and my size and didn't kind of like swallow my body <laughs> like the GM did. And the PM, I just thought was a little bit too small for um, what I like to all fit in my purse. So I went with the MM. And I did the original print. This is the first print that Louis Vuitton ever did. It's a Damier Ebain. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's the DE print. Um, I got it in the brown. And then on the interior, I got the rose ballerine print. So excited. Um, I went with the light pink because I'm not a big red fan. Um, and I also wanted something that was a little bit more springy. Um, so I went with the pink and I love it. And then inside, comes with this beauty. So excited for this. I'm going to use this as like a clutch or like a um, wristlet. So really excited for this. The zipper is perfect and inside it just has this little insert right there and then you can just like pin it in here and take it out, leave it in, whatever you want to do. So that is the purse I went with. Um, I 
Going into why I got this specific print, um, I got this specific print so the Vachetta didn't patine, patine, yeah, patine. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to make sure that I got one that was low maintenance for my first Louis Vuitton just so I wasn't so worried about going into the rain and taking care of it or like going in the snow because I do live in Minnesota. Um, so I got this one just so I didn't have to worry about the maintenance and um, everything just aging like the regular Louis Vuittons do. So that's why I went with this one. and. I absolutely love it. I think it will go with so many outfits. It's so versatile that it will go with pretty much any outfit. I picture this with like an army green jacket. Look forward to that on my blog soon because I will for sure be pairing this with that. Um, so also I went with the MM just because I like to fit a lot of stuff in it. The only downfall I really see about this purse is the fact that it doesn't like really have a zipper closure. Um, so the only thing, it does have this little closure right here which is enough for me. Um, I'm not really worried about people digging into my purse and taking things so um, pretty not oblivious like I can tell if someone's hands in my purse so that's why I went with this one. Um, super 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 excited. The other downfall that I see about this purse is that it doesn't have many um, like little inserts or pockets or anything in this purse it just has a zipper closure in the back so um, I did purchase um, one of those organizers to go inside, so I will do a full video later on when I get that um, on what's in my purse and how to use the organizer. But yes, this is what I got at Louis, and this is my first ever purse. And I also went with the brown just because um, you guys have seen that I got the Josephine wallet and the six key holder in the monogram print. So I figured that the browns would go together, and they really do. And I really realized that once I got this print, um, with the monogram. I really like mixing those two prints because it really shows the Louis Vuitton effect. I mean you have the Louis Vuitton right here and then you have the monogram so it really goes together and shows that it's not fake. <laughs> so yeah I really love this. I went through um, I definitely recommend if you're going to a Louis Vuitton to purchase a purse like this and spending so much money on a purse that you really are picky about it. Um, Louis Vuitton employers probably hate me for saying this, but I asked to see two or three of these to actually compare, and I wanted to um, make sure that the the stitching was good, everything was good on the on the purse, and that it wasn't like too wrinkly, and that there was no marks on the purse at all. So I made sure to ask for three of them. This was the first one I looked at, and it was perfect. There was just a little mark on the back that she said is really unavoidable. It's where the stitching comes together um, and the other ones you could really see it so I made sure to go with this one. Um, but yeah I would just suggest being picky and really looking it over before buying it and not being in a rush and not really um, being embarrassed to ask questions on it and being embarrassed to ask for it to see another one just to compare the two. Um, also what I like about the MM is that you can fold in these sides right here and then um, really like push in this little part here and then it's like a whole different purse. Um, that's what I love about this one so that I can make it in two different ways. Um, so yeah, you can see this side with the side closed in and this side with it open. So I love it both ways and absolutely love this purse, highly recommend it. Um, I also went with the Neverfull just because I knew that I loved this style of purse and that I knew that I'd never really want to get rid of it. Um, since it was such a fun memory that my mom came, we both got our first Louis. I really never want to sell this one, so I want to make sure that I keep this one forever, so I wanted to make sure that I got something classic and something that was timeless that was never going to go out of style. So I went with the Neverfull and I'm super excited. Um, stay tuned in a few weeks for a video of what I put inside and how the organizer works and which organizer I got. I'm super excited to get that and share it with you guys, so make sure to stay tuned. And thank you all for watching. Um, please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot of fun content coming your way. And also make sure to like this video, please, so I know if you like this kind of video or not, so I know to keep making them or not to keep making them. So I hope you guys all have a great weekend and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.